Hi, I'm Sydney Smith, and you are in my studio in Halifax, Nova Scotia. Um, I'm going to draw a picture for you from Small in the City. First, allow me to take a sip of my coffee. Coffee is a very important part of my process. Okay, so let's start with a pen. We're also going to need a paintbrush and a bigger paintbrush. And let's not forget paint. And that's it. Wait, that's not it. We are going to need some paper. I use some thick paper, and that allows me to put lots and lots of paint on the paper, and it won't buckle or uh, rip. Take another sip of coffee, and let's get this drawing started. Okay, so what are we going to draw? Small in the city, small in the city. You know what? I haven't worked on this book for over a year. Let's take a look at the book. Remind myself how it was I drew these pictures. And that one's a bit complicated with the reflection. Let's take a look at some of the uh, simpler drawings. Okay. There's what the final painting looks like. I think I, I think I get it. Okay, lots of ink, a little bit of watercolor. Yep. All right, I think I can do that. Oh, I remember these dogs. These dogs actually lived across from me on my street in Toronto. Yep, and that's also my street in Toronto. Lots of big apartment buildings. This spread was the hardest one to make because I I did so many of these little paintings, these little panels, and I couldn't decide which ones to include in the book. I used that one. Um, I think I used that one. These were lots of paintings of shadows and reflections. It's one of the things I found about being in the middle of a city, downtown in a busy city. There's lots of windows, and those windows reflect all of the busyness, all of the traffic and the people that made the city feel so much crazier. Yeah, knowing what to do is hard sometimes. Okay, so I think, I think I get it. I think I remember how it was I drew these pictures. Let's just set the book up over here on the other side of the paper. Let's get started. Okay, let's start with the character. I always start drawing the character with the face. And if the face looks alright, then everything else will follow. I'm using a brush pen. So a brush pen uh, has a, an end that looks just like a brush. It's got bristles and it allows you to make really nice, big, beautiful lines or little tiny squiggly lines. I love drawing trees for this book because I, I enjoyed making the branches look like cattails. And that's it. That's all I'm going to do for the ink for this part of the part of the painting. Next thing I'm going to use is this white crayon. So it doesn't look like much, but I'm going to draw in every place where I want there to be snow. I'm doing this before I paint with paint because the white crayon is wax and when you paint over wax the wax repels the watercolor paint and the, wa the paint doesn't stick to wherever you drew wherever you drew the snow so the snow on top of the branches or the snowflakes in the air here I'm painting the buildings in the background. I always found that in a snowstorm in the city, everything got softer, including the buildings and the sound of the traffic. No, 
now let's paint our character. The character has no name. Some people um, have called them small in the city, but um, I kind of like not knowing. I don't know a lot about this character, but you also do know quite a bit at the same time. When I paint, I like to paint pretty messy. Um, I don't paint right to the lines. And I paint fast. If I paint slow, my brain kind of tries to control it too much, and then I don't like the look of that. And the cherry on top. Here we go. There's the character. Now there's not enough snow here for it to feel like a snowstorm. So I'm just gonna take some of this white paint and put some, some extra snowflakes coming down. You can also take your brush and splatter some paint too. That's nice. There we go. I think I'm gonna say that it's done. I kind of like it. It's a bit messy, um, it's a bit loose. But that's how I like to draw, and that's how I like to paint. Uh, thank you so much for joining me. Thanks for coming to my studio, and we'll see you next time.